Hi guys, very welcome to Mentor, yet another video podcast. As always, I hope you're doing absolutely fantastic out there. So, today on the podcast, is a first officer a pilot? Right. This is a question that quite a few of you who's been watching my podcast for a long time probably think is a little bit silly. However, it's a question that I'm getting a lot on the YouTube channel and I'm also getting it a lot uh, from the traveling public. So, I'm going to do this one now to explain it once and for all in as clear way as possible. So, um, asking if a first officer is a pilot is a little bit like asking if a soccer goalkeeper is a soccer player. Of course, he or she is a soccer player, right? They just have a specific role within their soccer team. And this is the same with first officer. So, a first officer is a trained pilot, okay? When we speak about commercial aviation and we speak about any safety critical system within commercial aviation, you will come to notice that there's always a redundancy built in. Redundancy means that there are two of everything. It means that you have two engines, you have two braking systems, you have three hydraulic systems, you have two pilots. This is because if something would happen to a safety critical system, there needs to be a working backup. So, if any of these things would not work when we're down on the ground at the gate, we do not depart. If we don't have a working engine, we will not depart. Okay? If we are lacking a trained pilot, we will not depart. But, if anything would happen to these systems once we're airborne, the aircraft is completely safe to continue on just one of these systems. So, a, if the captain becomes ill, the first officer can safely land the aircraft. If one of the engines uh, stop working, the aircraft can safely fly on the remaining engine. This is the way that a safety critical, well, let's say all safety critical systems on board a commercial airline works. All right? When we talk about different roles within the airline industry, uh, you would have heard terms like captain, first officer, and pilot flying, and pilot monitoring. So I will just try to explain that a little bit. When it comes to captain and first officer, these are names of rang, okay? They come from the old maritime industry uh, where it was very important to assign different um, rang to different people working inside of a professional crew. We have something called a chain of command inside of, a, of an airline crew, okay, where the captain tends to be the one or is always the one who is pilot in command. He or she is the one who are responsible for the safety on board. They're also the ones who are taking all decisions, but also the one who is going to be responsible for all of the decisions that have been made. Uh, then you have, in case something would happen to the captain, the role of pilot in command then falls to the second in command, which is the first officer. Now, if that would happen, for example, if you have pilot incapacitation, then the first officer becomes pilot in command and gives all the orders and are also responsible for all of the uh, orders that she or he has taken. If both pilots would be gone, God forbid, then the role of pilot in command falls on the purser, the number one, the most senior cabin crew member. And then it falls all the way down to the most junior cabin crew member. This is important because if you are working in a safety critical industry and something happens that needs um, quick, you know, a quick response from the crew, everyone needs to know what their roles are and who to listen to. Okay, so that there's no discussion coming up. Like, I think we should do it this way, I think we should do it this way, well, how should we do it? That cannot happen if you have something happening quickly. Okay, something that needs to be dealt with immediately. You need to know exactly who is the one who's taking the, taking the decisions and who is the one following. This is why you have these kind of words like captain, first officer, pilot in command, and so on. So that has to do with the chain of command, right? Now, then there are the roles of pilot flying and pilot monitoring. And these are the roles who are actually dividing what we're doing in the flight deck. So both of the captain and the first officer are trained and type rated on the aircraft. They can do exactly the same things, okay? And they should do exactly the same things because they need to keep themselves current and good at all the different roles. So on a given day, when we fly, let's say we're flying two sectors. We're flying from A to B and then from B back to A again. In the beginning of the day, 
uh, the flight crew will decide who is going to be pilot flying and who is going to be pilot monitoring on the first leg. So let's say in this example, the, they decide that the first officer should be pilot flying for the first leg. Then the first officer is going to be the one who is setting up the aircraft for departure, who is doing the briefings, who is also doing the actual takeoff and landing of the aircraft, inputting of controls. The captain, in this case, is going to be pilot monitoring and the captain is going to be supervising, is going to be monitoring what the pilot flying is doing to make sure everything is done correctly. And the captain is also going to be doing the uh, communication with air traffic control, doing paperwork, inputting data into the um, flight management computer at the direction of the pilot flying. So the pilot flying is leading all of this work. Okay? And the pilot monitoring is making sure that everything is done safely because it tends to be less workload on the pilot monitoring, it means that one of the pilots can actually have an overview and see that, okay, this is not, do, this is not going very well, we should break off this approach, for example. That becomes the role of the pilot monitoring, hence the word monitoring. Now, on the subsequent flight, going from B back to A again, the roles will reverse. So now the captain becomes pilot flying, doing all of these things that we've already discussed. And the first officer becomes pilot monitoring. So on a two sector day, they do one flying leg each and one monitoring leg each. On four sector day, they tend to do two legs of flying and two legs of monitoring, just to keep the balance going, okay? There are specific situations where the um, company might stipulate that a certain approach needs to be flown by the captain only, or a certain takeoff needs to be done by the captain only. Or, if the first officer is very inexperienced, a certain type of weather, like very high, very strong crosswinds, might be preferable for the captain to do. Okay? Because the captain is the one who is responsible, once again, for all of the safety on board. But on a normal, general day, then they will do exactly the same job, both of them. It's just a matter of who is responsible for the safety and for all of the decisions made, and that's always going to be the captain. So I hope that makes sense to you. The answer to the question is yes, a first officer is a pilot. They're both pilots. Captain is the one who has taken the decisions. First officer is the second in command. And then you have pilot flying and pilot monitoring, which are the roles who's actually governing who is doing what on any given flight. Guys, I hope that makes sense to you. Uh, if not, continue asking questions. I really, really love the way that you guys are interacting. So keep sending me questions. Keep um, sharing these videos if you like them. Share them on Twitter or on Facebook or on Instagram or whatever you can think of because it really helps the channel, okay? And if you haven't already, feel free to subscribe. Just press the subscribe button and uh, I will have an end slate coming up very soon where you can also click the annotation to subscribe to the channel. I hope you're all doing fantastic, guys. I have a, a lot of really exciting things in the pipeline that I think that you guys are going to love. But up until that happens, and it's going to be soon, I wish you all a fantastic day. I'll see you.